All right, guys, this is just a video on printing your own T-shirts in the UK for free using a drop shipping service called Everpress. I'm not going to talk too much about drop shipping and how that works, but if you need to know more, please go on YouTube or Google and research drop shipping. If you need a video on that, just let me know and I'll do my best to explain it. So with Everpress, you need five orders for it to go to production. You can order five of those yourself if you want to order them at cost price and get them used for a lookbook, etc. Or if you can generate five orders organically then you should be absolutely cool the ui the interface of everpress is very simple all you need to do is just upload a png and mark it up and select your colors etc and you're good marking up wise it's the most simplest tool i've ever used in my life i'm only going to be reviewing a small section of everpress there's loads of stuff like the hoodies the sweatshirts i'm just going to be reviewing a long sleeve the american apparel and comparing it to a bait t-shirt that's on screen print oh and also the long sleeve is a gildan so I think it's worth to mention that I'm not affiliated with Everpress. They're based in London, I live in Sheffield. I love the idea, all the designs on there are dope. If they wanna holler me, then let's get it. But yeah, I'm not affiliated with those guys. So on the left, we've got a bait t-shirt, which is screen printed. It's been washed loads of times. And on the right, we've got an Everpress t-shirt on American Apparel. That is DTG and it's been washed once. I think it's DTG, I'm not 100%. Uh, it doesn't look like screen print to me but I don't know enough about printing to confirm that. If you want to weigh up DTG versus screen print, please give that a Google or I could do a more in-depth video at some point. What I'd like to say about the American Apparel is when I first got it, it was it was most expensive t-shirt, least profit unless you want to bump it up higher. Pre-wash, it had a wide neck and it was quite long. Uh, when I washed it at 40 degrees, the neck tightened and it was not as long and it's got a real nice feel to it, similar to Supreme, like the Hanes stuff. The baked t-shirt on the left is a totally different blank. I'm just literally referencing the prints here. Just want to speak a little bit about the Gildan Ultra long sleeve, which I got off there as well. Um, everyone knows a bit about Gildans. If you don't, then maybe just do a little bit of reading on there. But I didn't realize the cost was so weird on the long sleeve on the Gildan. Um, maybe something I got to get used to. I've not bought many long sleeve t shirts actually, so I, can't, I haven't got much comparison. But if I'm comparing it to a Carhartt, then it's, it's a lot. It's, it's more cotton, so it's less polyester, I think. Uh, get a bit confused about that sometimes as I'm still learning. Fit-wise, it's dope. It's got a really nice fit to it in a medium, and it hasn't shrunk in the wash at all. I, get, I assume that's due to the, the fact it's ultra. But yeah, it's a good fit and it's a good neck. Also, it's probably one of the cheapest on there, I think, as well. So in summary, I am backing the American Apparel. Um, I understand why it's the most expensive one on there because after that wash, I did fall in love with the fit of it as opposed to when it first came out of that packet when I got it delivered, I wasn't too happy with it. It felt like the length of a large and the neck was so wide, man, it was like one of those wide neck tops. I weren't really feeling it, but yeah, after the wash, it came out looking a hell of a lot better. Um, the Gildan, hands down, they always just, you know what a Gildan is, man. But yeah, I'd like to say thanks for watching. I hope this helped with your campaign to make more t-shirts and get your work out there. I think Everpress is a great site for that and it outlets artists into that platform as opposed to restricting them with budgets, etc. I've got some new blanks coming from my supplier that I want to make a video on. They're so heavy, they remind me of the Haynes Beefies and Pro Club XLs. So let me know if you found this video useful and drop a like. And you can follow me on Instagram at e -double -L -I -O -T -X -Y -Z, and on Twitter it's at e -double -L -I -O -T -X -Y -Z underscore. Thank you.